For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Camtasia Recorder. Now just before I get into this video, let's say if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After X Reboot Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now yesterday I made a video showing you three different screen recorders you can use, and I would decided to make a tutorial on each of them, so I'm starting off with Camtasia. Now I'm currently recording with OBS, I'm starting to get used to using it, so that tutorial will be out soon, and this video we're using Camtasia, so let's get into it. So when you open Camtasia, this is what you get right here. You have a nice selection of options. It's a nice little user interface right here. And first of all, let's just get into some settings. So you can pick full screen or you can pick custom. Now you don't have to specifically pick custom. You can come here from the corner and just drag it to whatever likings you want. And the screen that is highlighted, that is a pile recording. You can move it wherever you'd like using that. It's really simple to do. And you can also choose your own dimensions. Really simple, so we can put 720 or something and that is going to record 720 width so it's width by height so put like a thousand there and there you go that's full screen like that and it's actually moved to my second monitor here <laughs> here it is so anyway I'm going to pick full screen that is what I use for all my recordings now the next thing you can actually add a webcam now I don't have a webcam so I can't do that but what this does you can have your own face on record so you can put like yourself at the top left top right top wherever you want you put yourself on the webcam and you can also record your screen at the same time so that's a nice feature you can use for gamers and if you do tutorials with your face cam then you can do that as well and you can see there's some different options here that you can just go ahead and check out currently this is my mic talking so it picks up your mic and we'll run through these settings in a minute now next is the audio so obviously that's what we record your voice with now I just click it it turns it off click it again it turns it on now if we click this right here you can see this is going to list the different mics that are in now, do not use microphones, that means you can just do a recording of the screen without recording the mic. Record in audio system, I'll get into that in a minute, we have to change the setting to use that. And of course, you can have both of them on at the same time. So let's actually get into the setting. So we're going to start off with the capture up here. And you can see, you can just click record using F9. Or of course, you can go ahead and press this big red button here. Next is lock area to record. So that just locks into a certain area of recording. And then you can also lock to an application. So for example, I have Audacity open. I can lock it to that. So it will only record what is on Audacity and nothing else. Then here you can see we've got these settings here where record audio or record webcam. Now we'll get onto the effects. So we've got annotation right here. You can add a system stamp, which means a little watermark will be on your video throughout. So you can add like your YouTube channel or something. Also, same for caption. You can do the same thing cursor you can show your cursor you can do this as well you can change all this settings personally I just have it on show cursor and then here you can have use mouse clicks sounds and just checking that means it's automatically on like that and then we can come to the options and this is the different options you have for it you don't really need to touch any of them but there you go it's nice and easy to edit them now the next thing we're getting onto is the tools. Now the tools are probably the most important part. Now Camtasia Studio, Camtasia Menu Maker, Camtasia Player, and Screencast.com, you don't really need to worry about. The main thing here is just options. So if we click this, this is where everything happens. So by default, you're going to have the same settings I've got on my screen right now. Now this is what I prefer to use. But before we go any further, if you would like to record your system audio, which is this right here, you're going to see, you're going to need to change it to a .trec. So... I'll show you that right now. So if we come to tools, options, you want to change your recording to AVI to .trec. And that way you can now record your system audio as well as your mic at the same time. So that's a good advantage right there. Now when you record and once you stop the recording, you actually get a different window telling you where you want to save it. So you pick it as it's done with the video. But you can come to file options right here. You can check fixed file name, so you can choose whatever name you would want it to be called. And then you can choose your output folder right here, so we can go ahead and change this and put it as desktop, click OK. Now all my recordings will be saved to my desktop. Personally, I choose to have ask for file name, that way I can put it in a folder if I've already created one for the certain topic. Next, we're going to the inputs now. Input frame rate 30, again, you can see you got different options right here. Just click restore default if you do mess any settings up. Now here again is just where your mic will be displayed, you can have it on or off, completely up to you. You can check record system audio, again this is if you're on .trec, that means it will record your system audio, if not you can turn it off like that. And then again you've got your webcam right here and then you've got device properties, format of settings, it's really easy to get along. 
Now we've got hotkeys. Hotkeys can be really important and really useful when you record. So hotkey to record or pause recording is just F9. That means if we press F9, it's going to start recording. Now you can change this whatever you want. So if you click this right here, you can see you've got all these different things you can use to start and pause the recording. So it's up to you. And you can also add in like Control, Shift, Alt. You can add Control, you can add Shift, you can add Alt, any combination you like. And you've got the same thing applying for all of them right here. So it's really simple to use and they are useful when you record. So here you can just go ahead and pick the recording region, which is this up here. So you get to change what the corners are like. Now we can't currently click it because we've got this window open. But you can see you can just change some settings here. Now ever since I've had Camtasia, I've never changed these settings. They've all been good for me. And I've been using Camtasia for like a year now. So it's been good for me. And this stuff right here, you can leave the same. Again, completely up to you. So you can minimize the recorder. And if recorded, so when I'm recording it minimizes, and it minimizes to the taskbar, but of course if you change the system tray, that means it'll come down here like so. Now after you've done all that, you're good to record, click OK, make sure you've chosen everything. Now them settings are going to be saved for you permanently when you open up Camtasia again. Once you want to start recording, press F9, and you're going to see it's going to take 3 seconds to record. Now with F10, that stops the recording. So right now it's recording, if we go ahead and open this up, you can see this is going to be open. So what you can do is actually drag this on your other monitor so you can see or keep track of how long your video is going to be. Once you're done, you can either press delete straight away, you can pause the video or just stop it. And remember, if we press F9, it's going to pause it like that. Press F9 again, it's going to start recording. And what was to stop? It was F10. So if we press F10, the recording's going to stop. And then this is what I meant earlier by I'm able to choose where I want to save it. So I can go here, click file, well, click the down arrow, click save as. And I can save it to whatever I want. So I can create a new folder and just put test. I can open that folder up and then we can call it whatever we want. Call it test again. Exit out of that. Now, here's a little bit of an issue. Because it is a .trec file, which means you're able to record system audio, you're going to have to open it up and actually convert it to a WMV or MP4 just to put it into Sony Vegas. So all you got to do from here is just double click it and it's going to open up Camtasia. Okay, so this is what you'll get. You can see there's your recording right there. All you need to do is right click it, click add it to timeline, and you can literally edit it right here, there, and then if you would like. But I use it in Tony Vegas. So what I'll do from here, I just click produce and share. Now from here, I always go to custom product settings, click next, WMV, I'll pick it as again, you can choose whatever format you would like. Click next. Now here you can change this whatever you like again. I always have it on this. Click next again. Now here, I uncheck this if it is checked and change it to 1280, that way my video is going to be in 720p. Click next, then here just click next again. Now if you click this right here where it says folder, choose where you would want to save it. So again I'm going to put it in the test file, I'm going to call it test uh, recording. I'm going to click save, so that's what it's going to be called right there, it's going to be in the test folder. Now, you can put it in a different folder, so it means it's going to be in the test folder, but it's also going to create an additional folder where your recording will be. But, I'm going to uncheck that. You can show the product results, you can do any of this if you like. I'm not going to check any of that. I'm going to click finish, and then from there, this is what it's going to do. So it's just going to render out the video, and it's going to be into this fo folder right here. So you can see, that's what it's going to look like. It's going to go into this file, and that's where the video file will be once it is done. And you can see it's fairly quick because it's a short video, but of course, the longer the video, the longer this will take. But anyway, that is it for this video. Hopefully you have found it useful and hopefully I've covered everything within Camtasia and you now know how to use it. Now, like I said, I will be covering OBS pretty soon. I'm new to it. I've only started to use it today. So I'm going to learn my way around it. Then make a video for you on how to use it as soon as I can. Now, like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, Room Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my gaming channel. I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go ahead and add me on Snapchat, which is sure to do throughout my day. See so you guys being casual, savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.